Hey guys, it's Top Tech Tips here, and today I'll be showing you how to modify your watermark in Windows 7 to make it look like mine. The first thing you want to do is download Resource Tuner. It's like a, there's like a free trial of it if you want. And once you download that, you're gonna want to go to the Computer, C Drive, Windows, and then you'll want to go to System 32, and then ENUS. It should be right here and then once in ES you want to find user32 uh, yeah user32.dll.mui it should be around here somewhere right there and then sorry once you have that you're going to want to open resource tuner let's wait for it to load open up resource tuner I'll, I'll put a link in the description for it Oh, there we go. Sorry. So once you do that, just uh, minimize it, or yeah, and then drag user32.dll.mui into it. It should it'll load up with all this stuff on the left. Just click on string and go to 44 or sorry 45, and right here you can modify all this stuff here, like Windows build, evaluation, copy, testing purposes, safe mode, like right here. You want to edit that. So I'll just click edit here. And then where it says Windows, change that. So I'll just double click on it. Right here. Put in whatever you want. So I'll put I don't know. Put top tech tips. And then for the build I'll put an advanced technology. like that and then uh, you can also change like evaluation copy testing purposes all that stuff you can even change like windows unknown restart shut down and then once you do that just click close and click yes and there's a whole bunch of stuff here like Microsoft Windows R build and you can change everything in here uh, your license stuff um, abort start okay close help all that stuff minimize maximize restore up down help and close and then this here is not really no needed um, all this you can change is you don't really need to change it though uh, this here you, you can change I, I recommend you don't though because it tells you it'll help you in a situation uh, this here doesn't really need to be changed and this here doesn't need to be changed I don't think there's anything else in here that you can change Dialog no menu. Oops. Uh, and then version. It, just make sure it's for Windows Seven. It, it, if you are, if you have one, it'll are, if you have Windows Seven, it'll already be for Windows Seven. And if it's for Windows Seven, like you can, I'll, I'll put mine for download in the description, and it will work with Windows Seven RTM. And then once you do that, just click File, Save, and then click Save, and click Yes. Oh yeah, if it doesn't let you save it, you're going to have to take ownership. Just right click and take ownership. I'll put a link in the description for this too. It'll just do that. Now once it's done that, just close this. And close. You can close this. And then restart your computer. 